Hello, UA Path experts. In this video, we will see about uh, a new feature introduced by the UA Path apps product team that is called adding the new queue item directly from the UA Path. No need to go to the UA Path process raw robot. Okay, so there is a, a connection between the UA Path apps and orchestrator queues. So there is an integration, right? Let us see how we can build. So to do that, so we should create a queue using the uh, schema. So let us Google it and you can see the document they, which they provided having the schema. Uh, this is a schema. I'm just copying the schema and uh, open the notepad, type the schema here. And if it is a required fields, if you don't want required fields, you can just remove. If you want to require fields, you can just add the required fields, okay? So I had to create a like a so travel from, and I'm just copy paste the same thing like a so from the travel to. So there is a two fields, so which is a travel from and travel to. Those are all the basically a, a string uh, data types. So you have, you have a data type like a boolean, or you can see the enum also. So you can just uh, restrict the inputs. Yeah. So we have a two variables, two, two uh, fields, so which is a travel from and travel to, and we're just uh, saving this into the a desktop travel. Okay, dot JSON, just prepare the JSON, dot, dot JSON, okay. Go to the queues and uh, orchestrator queues and create a queue uh, that is a travel data and use a schema, specific data schema, the travel JSON, so which you created just now and click on the create, it will create a, a, a queue. So right now, if you see, there is a two queues. Let's go to the UiPath apps and create a, a new app like a travel form, travel form. So this travel form, let us take a blank process, blank empty um, template. And the first thing is you have to add the queues to this app. Let's select the tenant and under the tenant, select the folder. If you see under this folder, the queue names, which it will display, it's not showing any queues. Okay, so let us uh, see here, refresh. There's a travel data queue is there. Okay, so let's try to add again. Okay, it is not finding any queue. Let's click on this uh, folder. See, the travel data queue is uh, up here. So if you see, there is a two queues are available into the orchestrator, but only that this travel data is appeared because just keep in mind, so it will, you, you can add the, data to the queue, integrate the queues into the UA path apps only if you create a, a queue with the a, a JSON schema, not directly. Okay. So that's why it is showing uh, only that particular queue and it is showing the, all the fields, the and data types uh, at the right hand side panel. And now we will create a two text boxes, which is a travel from, that is a source and travel to is a destination. Let's create that, display the source and display the uh, this is a source, source city, and this is a destination city, or, or uh, travel to. Travel from. So add the two text boxes from here, two text boxes. One is a travel, and I'm creating the app variable to bind uh, t from, that is the travel from, and bind this into the first text box and add the another text box at the end and bind the another variable like here. So just create a variable uh, here. Just create a variable uh, t2. So just drag and drop the t2 variable 
and just add a new button here. So that is a submit travel data. Submit travel data. So for this, we are creating the rule. So within that rule, so you can see a new rule called add to queue. So just add the which which queue you want to add within that. So which fields you want to add from travel from. You're just using the uh, the binded variable from the text box one and travel two is a binded variable. Use the equal to to add travel two. And if you want to make the success message. Just make the success message like a travel data, and this is like it's a successfully added. Okay, so let's. It is a time to test our application. So before that, just check whether we have any transaction items in the orchestrator queue. So we don't have any transaction items in the orchestrator queue. Now we're going to add a new item from here. Okay, so uh, Chennai, Bangalore. Just click on the show, submit travel data. Wow, success adding the data. So let us just check whether we have a new queue item or not. So now we have a, uh, we will have a brand new queue item. That is a status is a new. Let's go back and try again to the view transactions. See, there's a new brand new item. So if you see here, it's Chennai and Bangalore. Let us try one more time. So Kochi and Trivandramar Goa. So click on the submit and see here, if you see refresh, refresh. So there is a new queue item that is a Kochi and Goa, got it? So we have a facility to add the data from apps to the queue. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please try by yourself.